At some point this spring, my family is going to ask to have a fire night. Sit around the campfire, marshmallows, the whole deal. Every single spring, the first time they ask me to do that, I don't have any dry wood. If you can relate to that, this video, we're going to fix that problem. Now I'm not looking to store every single piece of firewood I own in the barn or inside or somewhere else. I always hear that attracts rodents and things like that. I don't want any of that. But I do think it makes sense to store some of it inside. Today I want to try and build a little small firewood rack uh, to keep some firewood in the barn so when the family says it's go time, we'll be able to do that. So the challenge isn't like how do you make a firewood rack? I mean. We'll figure that out. The challenge for today is I want to do it, a couple rules. I want to be done with this project tonight. Number two, I want to spend absolutely no money on this firewood rack. So I have to go through all my supplies, find what I need, find what I have, and make something happen. Um, and then when done, I'll figure out what it would cost if you were going to go build the same thing. The first thing I need to do is probably climb up and take this down so I can open the door uh, from the other day's project. Remember that when we were getting ready to butcher hogs? So last summer, maybe two summers ago, I got a bunch of two by sixes and cut the curve off the end. I was gonna do a project, but the whole idea failed. I don't even know if I recorded that. Or maybe I got nervous and didn't even post that video because it made me look foolish. Either way, that's what I'm trying to find right now is these cut up two by sixes. I, I've walked by them two, two dozen times since uh, the last second ago. Found them. Where else would they be? Under the half a bag of concrete and the wooden boat oar. While I get the tools set up, here, let's go cut and I'll explain to you what I'm trying to do. These legs are 36 inches tall. The other ones are 16 inches. And the inside inside is 44 inches. So 36 inches tall by 44 inches wide by 16 inches deep. Just be done. Kind of designing this as I go. My thought is do something kind of like this. Put this down below. That's pretty, that's pretty far apart. Better measure that. Let's make it 16. Someday I'll have workbench done. Until then, tailgate time.
Six inches. Oh no. That's why I hate square bits. Rounded that right over. If you're laughing at home because I rolled that bit over, comment down below. I don't know how cold it looks, but it's that cold. What the, f what the hell am I doing? Sorry, I uh, must have forgot my stupid. So I didn't fill it up, but you get the point. Like this could hold quite a bit. If in time this ever starts to shake like this, I'll just run a board diagonal and that'll square and tighten everything straight up. So yeah, this is my little firewood rack. I'll find a home for it somewhere in here, slide it up against the wall, keep it full. Um, anytime the kids want to have a campfire, campfire night, uh, i.e. watch me drink a bunch of beer, I'll be ready for them. Uh, is, it, does it, is there any other practical purpose other than just entertainment? Not really. Like, I could tell you a disaster, but like, I have a generator, we have all these other things. Occasionally, 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 I tell my kids it's cowboy night, and we make a fire and we cook supper over, over top of the fire. But that's not like life or death situation, that's just because we're bored of trying to entertain them. So. Yeah, man, this was just a quick, easy project, something I've been wanting to do for a while. If you enjoyed it, give me that thumbs up button. And uh, otherwise, to that today's video, I'll catch you next time. Don't, for don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell notifications. Bye! Bye. Peace.